Now, a day after uh, the Azad Kashmir remark controversy, uh, the Kerala independent MLA KT Jalil has made a U-turn. Now, KT Jalil in his Facebook post today has said, and I quote, I only have sympathy towards those who cannot understand the meaning when I wrote Azad Kashmir in double inverted commas. Essentially, what he had said yesterday, what he had written in a Facebook post yesterday is something I'm going to be reading out right now. He said that the part of Kashmir that was with Pakistan was known as Azad Kashmir, and he put that in quotes. Now, I'm going to be crossing over to our correspondent, Neetu, Neetu Raghu Kumar, to give us more details on this. Uh, Neetu, tell us more about how KT Jalil has now, is now essentially, do we see this as a U-turn or do we see this as a clarification? No, we can't see this as a U-turn because yesterday, um, while we were um, uh, in that, uh, po in that uh, Facebook post, he had... Um, Said uh, he had said put the uh, word Asad Kashmir the first time in inverted commas and said that it is known as Asad Kashmir. Though in that same paragraph there was another mention uh, without uh, the word in inverted commas. So mm, uh, this this uh, we can only see as he's giving out a clarification about what his intention was or what he um, what he had to say about it. Uh, so he hasn't spoken to anybody. He's still there. Uh, he today also it was a lengthy Facebook post we, where he spoke about Kashmir and when his visit towards Kashmir and the places he visited, uh, including the Amarnath Shrine. So um, these are these are the uh, these uh, in that lengthy uh, post uh, towards the end he has written that um, that he has only sympathy towards those who cannot understand the meaning when he said uh, Asad Kashmir in inverted comma. All right, Nithu, and essentially, what do we have in terms of the reaction from the LDF government? Because yesterday we saw a statement from the LDF convener, EPJ Rajan, essentially saying we don't really know what statement he made. Please ask the central leadership of the party. Can you tell us about what the reaction has been from the LDF when it comes to KT Jalil's statement? See, as far as the CPM and LDF is concerned so far, what we have seen is this in this particular case, they have not reacted on it. Um, well, CPM State Secretary has said that uh, he'll go through the Facebook page, a post, he hasn't seen the Facebook post, and only after that he can react. LDF convener said that he doesn't know what Jalil has said, and he will have to ask Jalil himself for clarification. And if they want the party, if they want, if we want parties uh, stand, um, they, we should be contacting the central leadership. That's what uh, E.P. Jairajan had said. But um, see, so far what we are seeing is that uh, LDF and CPM is distancing themselves from this comment because they have not uh, so far uh, reacted in any way uh, to this comment. And as we know that Jalil is an independent MLA and supported right. by this. All right, all right, thank you so much for joining us. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to run.